Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It is Monday, May 17th. 59 degrees, going up to uh, 75 today. Nice and uh, warm today. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Had a good time on, at the... Uh, Joined the virtual pipe club. Had some new faces this weekend. My buddy Steve, smoking cardboard, was in the house, which was uh, a great addition. As well as a few other first time people. I don't know if Steve's first time, I think it might have been, but I don't remember ever seeing him. But then again, I didn't. Um, I wasn't there from the beginning. It came a couple months after the fact. Um, but yeah, it was a great, uh, a great meeting. So today I'm smoking my 7LE. I think it's a shape 104, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not going to look now because I'll either dump my bowl or get in an accident. Shape 104 Billiard Camo Stem. Awesome pipe. I love this shape. I love 7 Ellie's uh, just like the 616 KS. <coughs> I like their wider, beefier stemmed uh, bowls. This, and obviously I saw the camo and uh, I just thought it looked awesome with the with the black um, sandblast. And in it today, I am smoking Dan Tobacco Ascanian Number no. 2 Castle Blend, or Castle Blend Ascanian Number no. 2. They tend to have... Uh, a lot of names. Thank you. But this is a phenomenal blend. I uh, I I, don't, I I didn't really give my impressions on it too much. Um, a little bit uh, in a previous video. But um, yeah, this is a Virginia Perique Oriental. Um, let me shut that because that's going to create noise. It's, uh, man, I'll tell you what, Dan Tobacco, I'll say it, I sound like, a, like I've beaten a dead horse. Dan Tobacco and HU are some of the best kept secrets, at least in the States. Their blends are just amazing. I have yet to have a bad blend. I have yet to have a... Uh, a good blend. They're just, they're all great blends. Um, every blend that I've, that I've had that I, uh, that I ordered that I knew I would like, it's just been phenomenal. This is like, um, you get, up front you get a honey, there's like a honey sweetness to it from the Virginia. And then second from that is the, is the Perique. So you get that figgy, mushroomy, plummy Perique taste. And then rounding it off is that, that little oriental spice that you get. And all three of them combined are, it's just so good. I mean, it's basically a vapor with a little bit of Turkish in there. So it, it, it's uh, it's not like other, I, I've had some other Virginia Orientals or Virginia Perique Orientals that are more heavy on the Orientals, which I also love. But this, um, this, this Turkish is just kind of rounds it off. It just adds another layer of like a sweet spiciness. I don't even know if I'd call it a spiciness, but just like a, a nice like Turkish sweetness. Really good.
I actually kind of, uh, I regret, <clears throat> I forgot to order this. <clears throat> I had gotten a tin from my buddy David when I first ordered, or, um, I had gotten, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the Ascanian, the Yanaman Flake, <clears throat> and, um, uh, oh, Old Fretters. Those were the three blends that I had bought off him uh, before I placed my Estervals order. And, in, you know, you saw that, that box opening, you saw how many different blends I had. And honestly, it's so overwhelming. You know, when you order from there, there's so many blends from so many, uh, you know, brands that we don't that aren't available here, <clears throat> it's like, I mean, it took me like a, a few days, if not more, of researching blends, looking up reviews, um, and, and honestly, like, I spent a good amount of money, because I wanted to stock up on the ones that I liked, that I knew I was going to like, I didn't want to order, like, one tin of this, and then love it, and then, um, you know, be like, oh, I wish I bought more. So I stocked up. I bought like four tins of Yanaman Flake, four tins of Broken Flake, um, stuff like that. So um, I really should have picked up a, a few more tins of the Ascanian number two. But, but uh, you know, there's some other blends that after I posted the, you know, the Estervals order and people were like, oh, did you try this? Did you try that? I got a couple blends from um, more blends from David. I got um, the Edward G blend and um, the uh, Austin Crater plug. Both phenomenal blends, which I would have totally ordered. And when the next time I order, I will order more of. So this is one that I wish I would have ordered more. So I'm trying to smoke it sparingly so it lasts. But if you have a chance to, to, to try the Ascanian number two, I highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to try to get more for sure. But anyway, guys, um, also update on the giveaway. I've gotten a bunch more uh, video responses. Uh, people are starting to, to bring them in, which is awesome. So like I said, we're going to end that this weekend. So if you're interested, if you want to make a VR, you're going to get a few extra entries. If you don't want to make a VR, you know, I, I hope you will. But if you don't, you can, you can write a written response and you'll, you'll get one entry in, you know, I don't want to exclude anybody. So that'll end, uh, that'll end on Sunday because I, I did it on Mother's Day. So that'll end Sunday, Sunday night. And um, I was going to make a VR to Andrew Cerigliano, Bluefin Piper. And honestly, I just, I couldn't really, without pulling something out of my ass, I couldn't find, I couldn't really relate like a tobacco to music or, the, or what I wanted to. And I was like, I, I don't know, my brain was in like a knot. <laughs> and I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to say and what tobacco and how I wanted to, that, that was a tough one, Andrew, I'll tell you that, that made, that, that, that kind of put my brain in the knot, because I'm like, you know, trying to, I don't know, I was trying to tie something into, like, my favorite band, bands, which are, like, the Grateful Dead or Fish, um, you know, or, like, reggae or something, and I just, I couldn't, I don't know, I just couldn't figure something that wasn't, like, completely out of left field. So, it is what it is. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. <clears throat> great week. Start to your week. I'm sure I'll, uh, I'll have something tomorrow. If you guys have any blends that you want to... You want to hear me? Uh, I have a lot of blends, so you know if there's something that that you uh, you, you want to see me give my thoughts on, post it in the comments. Um, chances are, I probably have it. Now, I don't have any English blends. I'm not an English smoker. Um, I have a few, I should say, but you know, Virginias, 
Virginia Periques, Virginia Orientals, Burleys, Kentucky blends, a lot of McBaron blends. Um, I mean, I, it, chances are I, I, I have it. So um, I think I've done all my HU blends that I have. So again, if there's something you guys are interested in or, you know, want to see me give my impressions of, because I, I feel like it's I'm giving you my impressions instead of like reviewing it. Um, but yeah, let me know. Because I, uh, I'm just going to start pulling random stuff. And if there's stuff that you guys want to see, it'll uh, it'll be win-win. Give me an idea or it can make it easier for me to choose. And then you guys get to see something you want to see. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you on the next one. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.